I'm Glenn Coppersmith. I'm the Chief Data Officer at Sondermind. Curie College alum, uh, 2004, with a dual degree in computer science and psychology. Getting a dual degree at that point in time was very uncommon. In fact, Northeastern was the only place that I knew that had a dual degree at all, and let alone this one that is now, I think, super relevant between computer science and psychology, sort of aimed at AI and machine learning. It sort of leapt off the page at me that psychology would allow me to pursue all this sort of AI and game playing stuff that I was interested in, and has led to a, a fascinating career. The first of my co-ops, I met my co-founder of two companies. First, first time, first day, first cube that I sat next to happened to be this guy, who's, who's been in my life for now 25 years. Computer science is a great tool. Data science is a great tool. But without some sort of domain knowledge, without some sort of expertise in the field you're trying to apply it in, you're going to be less effective. So thus began the last eight, nine years of my life, I'm working on how do we better understand mental health and well-being using the data that is traditionally unavailable to, to clinicians and to providers. So much of psychology and of mental health and well-being is based on asking the patient how they're doing. And so that gives you some critical information and allows you to do many things, especially related to therapy. What it doesn't do is give us the same sort of quality data that physical health has in like an x-ray. You can see very clearly if the bone is broken. You don't have that sort of quantitative, unequivocal data in mental health. We were able to look at this problem differently than the rest of the field by starting from a machine learning perspective. How do you give a quantified picture of mental health and well-being? Trying to build models from wearables, from social media data, from opted-in data. People are giving us access to this data. They would like to get better. The world has certainly woken up to the power of combining deeply understanding human behavior and computer science. Photography has been part of my life for as almost as long as I can remember. It's been a way in which I can maintain a creative outlet. I love being out in nature, and certainly here in Plymouth, it's there's plenty of great landscapes around. To have peace and quiet with the kids and go outside and ride bikes and go for runs in the woods and take them down to the lake and swim during the summer. My life has gone sort of back and forth on my ability to trade off between the time and bandwidth that I'm giving to work and the time and bandwidth that I'm giving to, to the family. Just deep pragmatism power of impact, and the third is um, how much diversity of thought gets you in almost every situation. So much of my career can be traced back to some of the work that I did at Cori. We're on the cusp of what is likely a very large field uh, at the intersection of you know human behavior, mental health, and computer science um, that Cori has been working on for seemingly 30 years. <laughs>